Artificial intelligence is proving to be a game changer in the healthcare industry. It has the potential to save many lives while cutting costs by billions of dollars. AI is revolutionizing diagnosis, treatment and patient care. We get you more details in this report. Artificial intelligence is transforming the healthcare industry in many ways. The world is witnessing major medical breakthroughs. Meet Pat Bennett. 68 year old Pat Bennett is suffering from amyotropic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS. Bennett was diagnosed with ALS in 2012. She's unable to speak independently. ALS is the most common form of motor neuron disease. It's a rare condition that gets worse over time as the brain degenerates. With time, ALS can result in a person being unable to swallow or talk. Eventually, it could make breathing impossible without a ventilator. It's only been that way in the last five years. It seems AI technology is proving to be a game changer for Bennett. To help her speak independently, Stanford researchers are aiming to replicate normal speech using artificial intelligence. In order to get signals to decode into language, the Stanford team has implanted tiny electrodes that penetrate Bennett's brain. The signals from the individual brain cells or neurons are amplified, sent out through a pedestal, which is a stainless steel device that's placed uh, on the patient's skull. It comes out through the scalp. The uh, signals are then uh, amplified, uh, run through a machine learning software algorithm, which associates the neural activity, the brain activity, with the individual speech sounds or phonemes of English. Uh, there's then a second stage where that uh, for the output from that machine learning software is autocorrected using the language model. And then the output is placed on the screen in the form of text. And then it's read out with a, with a standard text-to-voice uh, program. Researchers are hoping to upscale the number of words that a person can generate. We were able to decode 125,000 word vocabulary, which is uh, general English, uh, with about a 24% error rate. Uh, we were able to decode a 50-word vocabulary, which is much smaller, more useful. It's a, it's a useful vocabulary that uh, someone with um, severe paralysis could use to communicate uh, essential needs with about a 9% error rate. Uh, we think that with increasing numbers of electrodes, with uh, uh, higher channel counts, that we can continue to increase that number quite dramatically, actually. Not just Pat Bennett, Ann Johnson too is hopeful that AI will help her regain her speech ability. 47-year-old Ann Johnson suffered a brain stroke in 2006. Since then, she's been unable to speak. The effects of a brain stem stroke are permanent, but unlike ALS, it is not degenerative, which means Ann's signals won't lessen and get weaker over time. Thanks to new advances in artificial intelligence, Johnson has a new way of communicating via text, audible speech, and facial expressions. I will meet you there. Do not be afraid to ask me questions. The technology works in a similar way to the Stanford study, but it doesn't use electrodes that penetrate the brain. Here's how it works. A paper-thin neuro device with electrodes is implanted into the brain to receive signals that correspond to the movements of the lips, tongue and vocal tract. A port is implanted on the head to transmit those signals. Then a computer programmed with artificial intelligence receives the signals and decodes them into text, speech and facial animation. A neural recording device is placed onto the surface of Anne's brain that those signals recorded from her brain are then sent to a pedestal screwed on top of her skull and then to a computer where an AI model converts the neural signals into decoded text, audible speech synthesis and avatar facial animation and then those outputs are then displayed to both her and anyone who is watching and this 
would ideally allow her to communicate using a brain-to-speech neuroprosthesis. The device operates at about 14 words per minute, but with the help of the AI tool, Johnson is able to reach 78 words per minute. The average words per minute rate for natural human conversation varies from 140 to 160. As per a report from the Parkinson's Foundation, more than 10 million people suffer from Parkinson's disease globally. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that primarily affects body movement. Artificial intelligence might help diagnose Parkinson's in a timely manner. As per a study conducted by University College London and Moorfields Eye Hospital, AI can spot subtle signs of Parkinson's seven years before a proper clinical diagnosis. What we hope is a number of years from now it will be something so you can potentially go to your local high street optician and have an eye scan done and pick up early signs of this condition. It has the potential to bring world-class expertise out of specialized centers such as Moorfields Eye Hospital into the community and potentially into the homes of patients in the future. That could have massive implications for public health. The technology is far from regulatory approval, but it's the latest find in a new field of research that could help people get diagnosed and treated sooner.